Hello and welcome back to the world of RimWorld with me, your host, Nick at Night. Our gr brave individuals in the last were fighting levels of malaria. Lost, Nate lost a father. And we built a whole new little compound for housing our new guests who might not want to stay here against their will. On top of it, we also made a few new rooms for our people. And the biggest part of all is we are on the last day of winter. It's gently snowing, but spring is coming. And that is the key. So we're gonna start this game up, get going. And that's the huge deal is spring is on its way and Boy, I can't wait to start growing new stuff. I'm gonna switch this from rice back to corn because unfortunately it was cut short last time because, well, we had issues associated with, well, all of that. And so we have smoke leaf still. We have um, heel root, we have hops. We have, I'm gonna make this hops again. Well, maybe I'll make it cotton. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get rid of it all together because we don't need it up there crowding this up. We can have nice little pasture lands down here. So we'll make one nice big one. We'll make a ton of heel root and we can just sell it for a ton of money. A ton of money, a ton of money. And what do we have here? We have potatoes, rice, and that's the big one. So we'll make that one maybe potatoes. Spring has finally begun. We'll make that corn maybe. Yeah, why not? We're just gonna grow a ton of stuff because in reality, it doesn't take that much time. Combat supplier. All right, we're gonna make some psychoactive plants. Like, I don't know, make some sort of weird drug thing with them. We're going to make, uh, we're gonna do some more hops for some more beer, of course. We have trees that are gonna be planted. And let's do some strawberries there. Make it a little bigger, maybe. That's also strawberries. Well, maybe I'll just make it hops. But what do we have here? Psychoactive hops and... Maybe I'll make it cotton again. Yeah, let's just do cotton. Smoke leaf is over there. Maybe we'll make another smoke leaf section. It's just real quick. You know, for those of you who don't know, it, smoke leaf and psychoactive plants were put into the game on the last patch. Along with drug production and a few other little editable um, gameplay mechanics. And I've been meaning to mess around with it for a while. So, since we have finished our last research, I think we're going to get the drug production. Because we can make stuff, hopefully not for our people, but for people passing by who are interested in said chemicals and substances. All right, they are approaching. They're a combat supplier, and they're willing to trade with us. Hoorah. That's cool that they actually know to use the doors. Wait, why are you going around? Okay, great. I thought for a second they were going to go back out and then come back in again. I was like, why? That's pretty ridiculous. All right, Travismo, come out here and speak with our fine guest lady and 
the Muffalo men. Oh, that's cool. The stuff that is in our um, weapon racks actually show up as stuff that we can actually sell. So I'm going to sell our poor plasteel knife. We have enough component because we've been digging a bunch of stuff up. I think we've also been getting a lot from the slag and reconstructing those uh, mechanoids. I don't know if there's anything necessarily we want to sell. Maybe some shitty clothing. Synth red duster. That's kind of nice. Yeah, we're finally making some very good quality products. Yeah, there's not a lot here to actually buy, sell, or anything in between. Okay, well, we made 500-ish dollars, or silver. Unfortunately, they did not have any nice pieces of... Oh, robotic arms and legs for our friend Dave, but we will continue to look for him. Continue to look for him. We have cotton here, yep. Great, we have a lot to plant and deal with crop-wise this next season. I might have to really consider potentially building a second freezer. Hmm. Where would we put that? I've kind of ran out of room to expand. Huh. Intriguing. I wasn't thinking of this potential problem ahead of time. Brando's bored. Well, let's, you know what we'll do is we'll build a slate wall with a wall, with a, oops, nope. There we go, bad door. And let's just keep mining this way, I guess. We have a ton of rice growing inside. Our people must be so sick of rice. Look how much rice we've made interior, inside. I think having the mix up of with, with the corn is going to be good. More hot plants, why not? We potentially could put another kitchen storage area over here. It's going to get confusing, but I mean, it's quite a ways to walk, especially if you have to keep dragging stuff backwards and forwards. We'll figure it out. The caravan is leaving now. There's a lot of slag all over actually. There's a bear, ooh, muffalo. Great. They're, they seem to only show up in the wintry months or fall months, these Muffalo, and then they just kind of disappear. They don't come back for quite a while. So, might as well hunt them while we can. Oh, Muffalo Revenge. Oh, good. Nate didn't actually get hurt. It's great. That's what I like to see. Carlos. Now, I'm curious to see what she's hauling. She's actually hauling a piece of steel. A block of 75 steel. Okay. Alright. 
So that's actually a really easy and clever way to get steel is by rendering this down, essentially. Wow, you already finished that? Wow, they're so fast. They are so fast. All right, we'll put in a slate door because we don't have any wood. Because the, the horrible death that came down and killed everything outside also took out all of our trees. Huh. I'm contemplating about putting a freezer locker back in here and then just having vents venting out. Major break risk. Why are you, why do you have a high break risk? Hungry, rebuffed by Dave, DC, wearing worn out clothes. What are you wearing that's worn out? Just take that off. For the love of goodness, I swear they keep just picking it up. Nate and Zabu. Zebu. Alright, Zebu, what's the deal? Okay. You just pessimistic rebuffed by Anna. Oh, you like Anna, do ya? Ugly environment in darkness. Where where are you? Oh, you're outside. Well, that happens. It does kind of look like the moon out there after that horrible time of winter. Glasses died. It's going to be one whole year before he's okay about his father being dead. Rebuffed by Carla. Feeling bad. And his friend Glasses died. That's another half year. So that's a, le a negative 11 just for having his father die. And it's going to take almost an entire year to get over that. a long time I'm gonna probably leave a single one right in the middle just so it stands because I know there is a certain size limit to um, particular uh, internal structures as how much they can actually hold up like a roof before having an issue oh sweet fine meals 24 have been dropped by the gods Ooh. Some sort of um, it's the stuff that you make drugs with. Neurotrumin, mean mine. No worries. And speaking of that, I just thought of the fact that we got attacked last time. We weren't fully prepared for it, so this time, I thought maybe. Just maybe. I'd prepare for it. More substantially, of course. By adding extra security defenses, especially in our north and our south. run the power up there because I want to move back our turrets to this location and use this area as a, a much larger bunker that we can shoot back at them a 
So let me get the deconstruct tool out here. Actually, first run power probably, huh? It's probably wise, right? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Run power out there. Then we'll deconstruct all this stuff. Reinstall there, reinstall there, reinstall. Oop, nope, I want the power on that for that. And we are then going to put another turret. Is that sufficient? Hmm. Yeah, that should be just fine. And I'll put it over here. Deconstruct those power lines. And we will put some sandbags in here. Oh, Brando built a little snowman. That's awesome. What's the problem with DC? Wearing tattered apparel. And you're hungry. Stop wearing the damn vests. You guys, I don't I don't know what your problem is. You're just obsessed with wearing these stupid armored vests. I'm not telling you to wear them. And yet you can't help yourself. It's like crack cocaine to you guys or something. While we're looking at that, I also want to do another hospital bed. Um, yeah, right there at the end, that should be fine. Well, no. We chose not to do it in that position for a reason. And it was because we were potentially worried about it having a roof so it could be shelled. Okay, Bill complete small sculptures. All right, let's check out all these. We have a good one. We have, a, ooh, a masterwork. Hunting a wild boar, Nate is. Wild boar eats. Okay, poor. We'll sell that, normal. I'm putting this in here somewhere. Who needs a bu mood buff? I'll just, I'll just put it in here anywhere really just put it in there just make that place super beautiful because they think it's ugly all right he's gonna do the big sculptures now cool go for it mike you kill it man kill it oh, we need more apparel more ways to make stuff We are just pumping out the rice. We have so much rice. Um, I'm thinking that it's probably time to at least uh, change from rice over to something else. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe move over to some strawberries. Strawberry plant. Do some strawberries. Some more strawberries. A few more strawberries. Like what, six strawberry basins? Make it seven. Okay. And this is actually kind of a decent setup. You know, some, some potatoes, some rice, some heel root, and a few strawberries. I'm actually, that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some potato. 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 All right. 
with that actually in mind, maybe we want to convert some of this rice land into more corn area. Because I'm worried that our group is getting not enough any particular very useful type of nutrients. I want them to be well fed, but also have everything they need to uh, be able to live, live well at that. So we have a breakdown and a slate auto door. All right, someone will fix it. It's fine. What are we going out here for, boys? Oh, pick up all that slate steel slag. All right, how are we doing on food? We have lots and we have very little meat. We have a good bit of vegetables, and mostly due to that rice that we were just producing like crazy all winter. So I need to send Nate and anybody else who's capable out hunting. There's a cougar. Oh, that's a little scary. All the buffalo's gone, isn't it? But the boar is here. The ibex ram is here. Some turkeys. Go, go, go. I need those turkeys. I wonder if... I wish I could make like a meat slicer so they have like deli sandwiches. Just real thin turkey slices. Ah, oh, it's so good. That's my dog, right? Yeah. There isn't much else actually to hunt. Just, I mean, I could go after something like a warg or a bear, but that's still quite dangerous. And scary on top of that. Quite scary. All, all that away. the rest of that put up some walls I think I'm actually gonna make this the next little um sorry uh froze like walk-in freezer essentially So we are at the fifth of spring. We can start planting the, I wanna say we can start planting around the seventh or eighth of spring, but the season doesn't technically start until the 11th. Beavers, hungry alpha beavers have just arrived. This is great news because they pr will provide a nice source of fur for clothes and a very tasty bit of meat for our starving and very hungry colonists along with some turkeys. So thank you for joining me in the world of RimWorld in the colony of the hungover who I believe are nearly, and they are clean from being hung over. Anyways, I look forward to seeing you next time.